Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Arrow Season 7, Episode 11 called Past Sins. So we start with Oliver and Laurel are doing an interview and they kind of back each other up and then we have a flashbackish moment uh, to where Oliver tells him Miko and Oliver basically just wants a chance with her to talk to her to like, you're my sister, I want to get to know you. She's like, uh, no. Anyone with the last name Queen destroys everything and walks away. And then we cut to where the interview went very, very good. They made excellent points and everything. And made sure it just went very, very well. And Felicity was very impressed. And then we have Lila is trying to create a new uh, a new squad. And they call it Ghost Protocol now. And so we cut to where um, Dante has a trail and they got that trail from Diaz and then Curtis uh, finds out and he gets very, very mad at that. And then we cut to where Laurel and Felicity talk and basically this one is like, um, it's like a girl's night out and Laurel's not used to this because she's not used to having many friends that are girls. And so it's kind of hard for her to deal with that, but she's starting to come around to it. And then she sees um, an old person called Brett from Earth 2. And she gets very shaken by this and she bolts with Felicity. And then we cut to where someone electrocutes um, some guy. And we have Oliver at um, C S C P D. And then we find out that someone wants Oliver to quit the police on TV and like threaten a guy. Then we have uh, Laurel has got a letter and it was like a weird letter. It was like a piece of paper. And then we cut to where Curtis is uh, running a uh, test. Uh, where, um, or Diggle's trying to tell him to run a test. And then Diggle tries to reason with Curtis. And that's a no-go. He doesn't want to do everything, but it's an order, so he has to do it. <laughs> then Laura talks to Felicity, and she is asks her to look up Brett Collins, so she does, and it's, and it's going to look into it. Then SCPD um, pull it to get the location of the, vi uh, the video, and the guy is gone, but Oliver found the guy and saved him. The other guy got away and said like a quote in there. It was like, um, I forgot what it was. And, and then Oliver and Felicity talk and we found out that the guy quoted, um, Oliver's stuff with the sci the, um, psychiatrist or whatever at Slapside. And it might be the son of the former bodyguard, Hackett. And then we cut to where Curtis is checking on the ghost protocol people. And so they got to put everyone under to make sure everything's working right. And we found out that Diaz is immune and he's going to break for it with everyone else. And my battery's about to die, so I'm about to wrap this up real quick. So Laurel gets a new paper and then she confronts Brett about it and fights him. And, but he said, what is Earth 2? So we know he's from Earth 1. And then we have Felicity stops her before she gets, goes too far. Then Oliver's at the door of the son, whose name is Sam. And it's so uh, Sam Hackett. And he was still looking for his dad, so he never got closure. And then he built uh, some type of device that's going to create destruction. Then we have Argus versus the Ghost Protocol. And have really good fight scenes. The camera was a little shoddy, but overall it was really good. Then Diaz takes a run for it. And then it's versus Curtis. And then Curtis got his butt kicked and got offed. I was like, oh my god. And so, and he escaped. Then we found out that when Diaz got to the location he was supposed to get to, we found out that's the simulation. And so, Curtis set that up and gave, and basically gave him and Argus everything they needed. Then we found out that from a recent poll that 77% of the people want Oliver gone from the CPD. And he feels bad for not talking to Sam, and that's why he was considering leaving the SCPD. 
But Dinah snaps him out of it. It's like, no, you're fine. Then we have Felicity finds out Laurel. And we found out that Brett killed Quentin Lance on Earth 2. And it wasn't entirely his fault because she, because he came back without her cake and fussed out and said, I hate you and went to go, so he went to go get a cake. And then that's what happened. So she blames herself and about the last word she says. So that's why she feels very guilty about it. So Felicity uh, reassures her and tries to calm her down and trying to get her some closure. And so wants to help. Then we find out that Hackett works at the electric company. And so they tried the location from the vehicle and the locations at the SEPD. And basically KO'd everybody. But then Oliver wakes up and is going after Sam. And he has uh, people blocking him. It's a hostage situation. Then Oliver talks to him. He apologizes. And then we have Dinah um, basically is outside. Then the cops are given ultimatum to either shoot Oliver or you die. One guy considers it, then he backs down. Then uh, Dinah cuts the power back on. Then Sam got immediately arrested. So Oliver does the interview again and sets the record straight about Hackett and everything that happened. Then Diggle is very impressed with Curtis, but still going to help to go to his protocol. And he's not really having it. He's going to go along with it for now, but he's going to start putting up roadblocks and like just going to speak his mind more. Then we have Laurel talks to Diana, and Beth Collins are not on her. So the one on Earth 2 died on this porch from some random complication, and the other one was cited for indecent exposure. And then, so she feels better about that. Then Emiko talks to Oliver. And David says they're going to talk. Um, she's thinking about talking to him and getting to know him, all that type of stuff. And then we found out that someone is sucking Diana in some type of letter, which is what Laurel also got. And that was in the episode. Uh, I gave it an A. I thought it was really good. You have a lot of information that was compacted in there. And I thought it was very enjoyable. And it provided a lot of closure for a bunch of people. For Laurel and for Sam, it kind of correlated in between those, so I really liked that. The fight scenes were really good. Uh, just a little bit of shoddy camera work, but, you know, other than that, it was great. And I found out that uh, David Ramsey directed this episode, and I thought it was great. So that's going to do for this video. So if you like this video, please get a like, comment down below, tell me what you think, do you agree, disagree? Just tell me what you think down below, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye, everybody.